What's up friends, fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and it's time to get started on the Hall of Fame binder reviews. Uh, the Hall of Famers are definitely the bulk of my collection. Uh, multiple binders of Hall of Famers. This is the first binder. I have them uh, organized by Hall of Famer by last name, so this first binder is Hank Aaron through George Brett. Let's go ahead and just dive right in. Alright, so starting out we got some Hank Aaron here, uh, alphabetically the first Hall of Famer, uh, also I'm a little bit biased being a Braves fan, um, but anyways, Hank Aaron, we got 82 Kmart here, Baseball Heroes insert, this is a reprint from 2000 Tops, there's the 2000 Tops base card there, uh, Signature Series, uh, Chasing History insert here. Um, baseball flashback insert Allen and Ginter base card and a highlight of the year April 23rd 1954 Hank Aaron hits his first home run 3000 hits club Hank Aaron uh, one of the cool stats you will hear repeated often is uh, if you take away all of Hank Aaron's home runs uh, every single one of them and there was a lot of them <laughs> considering he's a home run king uh, for over 20 years uh, he would still have 3000 hits Legend salute insert, and then we got uh, It's kind of dark over here. Let me see if I get some lighting over here Okay, now there's probably gonna be a little bit of a glare from this side, but it was kind of dark I was trying to get a little bit more lighting over here. Not sure how well it helped, but maybe it helped a little bit But yeah, so 3000 hits club salute uh, Stadium club Hank Aaron right here uh, Archives 150 years of fun insert um, archives again and the die cut from Chrome, decades best, 1960s. Hank Aaron, really love these die cut cards. All right, so moving on to Roberto Alomar, a rookie from 88, 89, 90, 91 Peachy Premier, 91 Tops, uh, 91 Upper Deck here, Final Edition, Leaf, uh, Triple Play, cool action shot on that card, and Pinnacle. Here we got. Pinnacle Idols uh, with his dad, Sandy Alomar, um, Tops Gold, Roberto Alomar, Stadium Club, Provisions, Robbie Alomar, Top Glove, Pinnacle, uh, Future Heroes from Upper Deck 93, and then Upper Deck 90, regular Upper Deck 93, and then the Team Checklist, Roberto Alomar, uh, 94 Donruss, uh, Hometown Stars, Church Chicken, um, which is a uh, tops gold parallel here with uh robbie thompson regular 94 tops collector's choice silver signature um leaf great gloves insert uh studio gold down here looks like those credit cards uh this looks like a sports flicks but it's not this is a tops d3 uh fleer 96 regular fleer 96 and then update you can see where he went to the orioles uh sp Collector's Choice, Ultra, uh, Tops 99, uh, 2000 Upper Deck Legends, SP Authentic, 2001 Donruss, and Elite, Donruss Elite down here at the bottom right, uh, Fleer EX, Fleer Game Time, Fleer Triple Crown, Upper Deck Ovation right here, uh, another Fleer Triple Crown, Ringmasters Insert, um, Robbie Alomar Donruss 2016 All Time All Stars. This is the red parallels. You notice this little design element down here is in red. Uh, MLB All Star Game MVP uh, Archives, I believe. Is that Archives? Yeah, it's Archives. Uh, Family Business from Chrome uh, Insert and Stadium Club. All right, so now we're on Sparky Anderson here, um, 76, I believe, Sparky Anderson there. Might be older. 74, Sparky Anderson, excuse me. And then 78, Sparky Anderson, 87, uh, 91, and Gowdy from 2008. Sparky Anderson, only five Sparky Anderson cards. And then we're into Bagwell here is a Bagwell Ricky from Stadium Club. Bagwell and uh, Luis Gonzalez here on this one. Uh, 92 Leaf, 92 Studio, 
Uh, this is a hollow... Oh, what group was this? Hollow Prism, I think it was, that made these cards right here. Hollow Prism, pretty cool little holographic card there. Pinnacle, Upper Deck, Flare, uh, Hometown Stars, Jeff Bagwell. Uh, Home Run Club, those are always cool cards. 93 Tops, League Leader Insert from Fleer. Uh, Stadium Club Members Only. SP, here's a Leaf Metal Platinum and the regular Leaf Metal. See the difference between those two. This one's got Barry Bonds on it. Uh, Rivals from Aficionado. And then down here you got the uh, Hologram from Denny's. Up here you got Score, Upper Deck, uh, Circa, Holographics, Victory, uh, Tops Chrome, Legends. This is from SP Authentic Midsummer Classic Insert. And then from Upper Deck uh, Victory, we got Lasting Impressions, Jeff Bagwell. And then Fleer Game Time, Fleer Platinum, Triple Crown, Triple Crown, uh, O2 Tops, um, Jeff Bagwell. You can see his wide stance there in this picture. It's amazing he was able to hit like that, but, you know, dude had pop out of that stance. Very little stride. Of course, when you're already that wide, then <laughs> you really don't have much room to stride anyways. Uh, Downrest Team Heroes 2005, uh, Breakout Moments Insert Rookie Sensations 91, uh, All Rookie Cup Team here, Reprint Jeff Bagwell with 92 uh, design. Then we got uh, Greatest Players Jeff Bagwell, Decades Best Jeff Bagwell. Alright, on to one of the more controversial Hall of Famers, Harold Baines. There's an 82 Fleer Harold Baines, 85 Donruss, 85 Leaf. Uh, Fleer 86, 86 Donruss, 86 Tops, 87 Mini, Harold Baines, this is a cool one, it's like a cutout from a box, I think this was Kraft, I guess they had these on boxes of macaroni and cheese where you cut it out, it's pretty cool, Harold Baines, 88 Fleer, uh, 88 Tops Baines, 88 Rite Aid, Team MVPs Harold Baines, um, 89 Donruss, 89 Tops, 90 Bowman, 90 Tops, 91 Donruss, uh, 92 Pinnacle, 93 Fleer, I think I was right on that Pinnacle, wasn't I? Yeah, 92. Uh, 93 Tops, 93 Upper Deck, 95 Select, Collector's Choice here, 95 SP Upper Deck, 96 Fleer, um, SP here, 2000 Tops Chrome down here. Uh, throwback collection from Throwback Threads 2005 in this bottom right corner. And then finally, uh, Harold Baines. Uh, this is the gold foil stadium club. Alright, next up we got Ernie Banks, Hometown Heroes, Hometown Heroes insert. Uh, this one's called... What is this insert set called? Defining Moments, Let's Play 2, of course the famous quote. Attributed to Ernie Banks, we got a 72 design mini here. Ernie Banks, uh, Ernie Banks 2014 Ginter, 85 design, uh, Decades Best Ernie Banks here for the 1950s, and then Stadium Club down here, uh, Ernie Banks, pretty cool. I like when Stadium Club does these older players because it, the way they touch up the photographs makes it look more modern. Uh, 75, uh, Johnny Bench, 78 Johnny Bench, this one's got tape on it, <laughs> looks like somebody had it taped to something. 81 Donruss, 82 Kmart, showing Johnny Bunch's two MVPs. Um, might be a while before we see a catcher win a couple MVPs. Um, 90 Tops, uh, 2000 Upper Deck Legends, and then Upper Deck Hall of Fame Endless Summer insert set there. And then this is a reprint from 2003 Donruss. Timeless Talents, Bench, and Big Mac. Uh, collisions at the Plate, Gypsy Queen, Museum Collection, Pussies and Preeminence, uh, 2019 Diamond Kings, uh, Franchise Feats, Johnny Bench, Alan and Ginter Field General, Johnny Bench, and this is a short print uh, image variation, Johnny Bench from last year's Tops. I actually pulled this exact card twice last year. Um, I, only got, I only pulled two image variations, uh, short prints, and they were both Johnny Bench. Alright, on to another catcher here, Yogi Berra. So we got 81 Donruss Yogi Berra when he was a coach. Uh, Hall of Fame Endless Summer Yogi Berra. Uh, Hall of Fame Gallery Yogi Berra up here. 
uh, SP, is that authentic? SP Legendary Cuts, Yogi Berra. This is a Coogan's chip from Cooperstown. Um, Chasing History, insert Yogi Berra. Archives, Yogi Berra. And then on to a player that started their career as a catcher, but most people know him as a second baseman. That's Craig Biggio. This top row is all rookies. 89 Fleer, 89 Donruss, 89 Upper Deck. Uh, 90 Fleer, 90 Tops, 90 Tops, 91 Stadium Club, Upper Deck, 92 Studio, Craig Biggio. By this time, he was a full-time second baseman. Um, came up as a catcher, though. Stadium Club, Pinnacle, Upper Deck, uh, Tops, 95. Stadium Club 95 members only, Leaf Limited. Uh, down here is a Leaf Metal 96. Uh, score 96 and Leaf Rookies and Stars. Not sure what year that is. 98. So this is a, you know, when I get into the 90s, late 90s, that's generally an area where I wasn't collecting, so I can't recognize the sets. Like this is a metal. This card's actually metal. <laughs> it's actually made out of metal, which is pretty cool. Skybox Metal, Molt Metal, or something like that. Is what that's called ultra uh crown royale final numbers insert uh paramount uh, hitters club from upper deck upper deck legends sp authentic 2001 donruss and then fleer ex down here uh this one's got keith ginter and craig vigio on it um i like how it says 2001 franchise features uh, and, you know, Biggio was already a 10 year veteran by that time. Upper Deck, Upper Deck MVP, Fleer Triple Crown, 2002 Tops. I think this is 02 or, uh, I can look at my list real quick. Uh, this is 05 Bowman Heritage, 2015 Old School Colors from Contenders. This is him and his Seton Hall Uni. Uh, Till It's Over insert, 2016 Don Russ right here. 3000 Hits Club and then Heirs of the Throne. This one has Altuve on it. But on the back, you can see Mr. Biggio right here. Um, one of the reasons I like only putting one card per sheet is you can see the backs. I know a lot of folks don't care about the backs, so they'll use like uh, some of those pre built, you know, like folios or whatever they're called where you can only see the fronts of the cards. I prefer seeing the backs of the cards as well. Um, not that I focus on them too much looking at the backs but you know it's part of the design of the card in my opinion so you know a lot of times you'll have different photos on the backs than you do on the front and I don't want to hide it so you got Burt Blylevin here starting out 82 Donruss uh, Fleer what is that 85 Fleer uh, 85 limited edition 85 Donruss 86 Donruss highlights 87 Donruss 88 tops uh, 89 tops, 90 tops, and then uh, 90 tops with the four times exposure, 91 score, Bly 11 pinnacle, um, 94. I don't think that's a reprint, it might be a reprint. No, that's the actual 94 Bly 11, and then you got the 84 design insert, and then that is a iconic cards reprint, yeah, iconic cards. And then 2020 Donruss Retro down here. Then on to Wade Boggs, we got 84 Fleer, 84 Tops with Bill Matlock. Um, 86 Mini, I think these are 86. Uh, 87 Fleer Mini, 88 Donruss, um, 88 Tops uh, Leaders with Spike Owen. Uh, 88 Tops, 88 Tops, 88 Right Aid. MVPs, 89 Donruss, 89 score, and then 89 tops, 89 tops, 89 tops, and then 89 tops with a through the mail auto Wade Boggs, which was really cool. Hall of Fame autograph there. Uh, that was sent to me from JJZ. Uh, league standouts, Wade Boggs, um, 90 Fleer Wade Boggs, and then 90 Upper Deck, another four time exposure card. Cooperstown from 91 score, 91 upper deck, upper deck final edition. Heritage series from studio, triple play post, collector's choice, uh, 92 tops, 92 Bowman, and stadium club. Then we got uh, 
92 upper deck here, best hitter, fun pack, uh, upper deck here, I think that's 93 upper deck. Yeah, 93 upper deck, it actually says Reggie Jackson down here in the bottom, this foil signature. Uh, great gloves, insert, leaf, here's another one of those, studio gold, credit card looking cards, uh, stadium club here, stadium club here, uh, that's the members only, Denny's hologram, kind of see it down there, and... SP down the bottom right corner Wade Boggs collector's choice <laughs> the whole binder is starting to slide this way because I got this side propped up so every time I flip a page it slides this way a little bit that's okay we got collector's choice here Wade Boggs Ultra see on the raise in that one yeah I think that's the first card I have them in a raise uni stadium club here uh, Paramount uh, Black Diamond and then this is another one of those Reprints from 2003, uh, Donruss, all-time Diamond Kings, whatever works insert, 3000 Hits Club. Uh, this is a reprint, set of Burger's Best, yeah, Burger's Best. Uh, reprint, 2018 Donruss, there's an 83 design insert. Diamond Kings insert, Diamond Kings base card, All-Star, Wade Boggs inserts from 84 design. And then the 84 design silver pack. You can see the mojo refractor on it, kind of right there. Uh, 2020 retro Donruss and 85 insert Wade Boggs. Then we're on to George Brett. This is an empty page in here. Um, 80, 1980 George Brett, 1980 Burger King George Brett. Um, 81 Fleer, 82 Fleer, 82 Donruss. 82 Kmart, as you can see, showing that card right there. Uh, he won the MVP that year. Um, 85 George Brett, 86 Limited Edition Fleer, and another 86 Tops Mini down here. Uh, 87 Tops, this is a 87 uh, UK Mini. 89 Donruss Bonus Card, 89 Donruss, 89 Tops, 90 Donruss, 90 Score, 91 Donruss. 92 Leaf, um, Stadium Club Charter Member, 92 Donruss, 92 Leaf, oh this was 91 Leaf, I said 92 Leaf, that's 92 Leaf, um, Triple Play, Member's Choice, Stadium Club, Pinnacle, Pinnacle Now and Then, uh, Bowman, uh, this is George Brett Tribute from SP, this is a die cut, see the top's kind of die cut right here. Uh, Upper Deck Legends, another 2003 reprint. Uh, Donruss Threads, this is from Triple Play 2013. Uh, yeah, they weren't all cartoons in that set. This is an insert set. Actually had a photograph on it. Love these uh, Diamond Marshalls cards or die cuts from Prism. Uh, made to look like a badge. This is the regular version. There's also Prism versions, which are like the refractors. Uh, Prism Fireworks, 2016 Donruss Retro. Regular 2016 Donruss, 3000 Hits Club, uh, George Brett. Um, you can see there's 275 designs on this. This one is the uh, Burger's Best, and this is the Rediscover Tops insert. You can't tell by the front, you can tell by the back. Uh, this one is also a Burger's Best with a 90 Tops design. All-time All-Stars George Brett, uh, Legend Salute 2017. 2018 Donruss is the black and white version. Of that card faces of the franchise insert with George Brett on it also Salvi Perez and Bo Jackson 2020 Don Russ and Topps Chrome Decades Best 1980s George Brett so that is it for binder number one of Hall of Famers let me know what you think who is your favorite Hall of Famer uh, in this was it George Brett was it Wade Boggs was it Burt Bly, Levin, Biggio, Yogi Berra, Johnny Bench? Was it Ernie Banks? Was it Harold Baines? Well, if it was Harold Baines, I probably wouldn't tell anybody. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, Jeff Bagwell? Or was it Robbie Alomar? Or maybe even Sparky Anderson? Here's Robbie Alomar. Or perhaps, was it my favorite? 
Hammer and Hank Aaron. So, yeah, that is my first Binder Hall of Famers. Let me know what you think. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Hit that thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the thumbs down if you didn't like it. Uh, leave a comment because, you know, comments are important. They feed the Google algorithm so that my videos can be shared out throughout the, the internets, <laughs> I guess you could say. And, yeah, let me know in the comments down below from this binder who's your favorite Hall of Famer uh, from all the Hall of Famers you've seen there. My choice is Hank Aaron uh, in this binder. Uh, but, like I said, I'm biased. I'm a Braves fan. But maybe Ernie Banks is your guy. Perhaps you're a Cubs fan. Um, but, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below. We'll have uh, another binder coming up shortly. That will be Lou Brock to uh, Bob Gibson will be the next binder. But I appreciate all you watching. Uh, let me know if there's anything I could do better. Anything that, you know, that that annoys you from my videos or whatever. Uh, just leave, I'm, I'm fishing for comments here. I'm fishing for comments. <laughs> Please forgive me. Uh, but yeah, remember you can only draw two things. It's your thoughts and your actions. So stay positive. Keep filling up the binders. Keep collecting cards. And I'll catch you all in the next binder video. Peace.